going to believe in myself a bit more. <laughs> Set our eyes west, chase the sunset In the wine on my breath And you got your hand on my hand Lips to my ear, whisper switch to fifth gear I'll go, hey, look closer, Nostra in a test of Rosa Pull me closer, baby, don't let go Get away from where we came from Where we'll end up, I don't know We got the whole world ahead and the whole world behind Nothing in the rear view but wasted Welcome to the vlog this is my week long vlog of the week of my UCAT exam which is next Monday, it's currently the Monday before that. The UCAT is the entrance exam for most medical schools in the UK and it's the one that um, corresponds to the med schools that I am applying to in the UK this year. So I have to do it and I'm doing it on the 24th of August, it's currently the 17th so I've got a week until my exam, it's quite scary. But you know, it'll be fine. I've got like a big list of things to do today, so I'll just go through them quickly. I want to get the mock test number three from the website Medify. I want to get that done, which I'm going to do now, and hopefully it'll be finished by midday because it's currently 10 a.m. Finish the like learn section on Medify for verbal reasoning and decision making. I've not got that much left. Maybe like an hour, an hour and a half's worth of work left there. And finally, I want to like go on to the actual UCAT practice thing and do all the questions for the question bank for verbal reasoning. That's my day. I'm trying to have a super productive day. So I've started off well with like my run and getting up early. I got up at like seven. I'm sitting here crying in my prom dress. I'd be the prom queen of crying was a contest. Makeup is running down. Feelings are all around. I'm not gonna do any more work today, although I really could. I got everything I wanted to get done, done. I don't wanna overwork myself. I want to be kind of asleep by 10 p.m. And so like up at six, seven, so like half six, uh, just cause I want to make sure that my sleeping schedule is really, really sorted out before this exam because <laughs> I'm starting to get a bit stressed. What I found is that I've gone up in some areas of the UCAT and down in others to the point where it's like the same grade I started with like a month, month and a half ago. So, so I'm not happy about that, but um, I'll keep working at it. I think I've come up with a new strategy. I will let you guys know what it is if it works. But I'm going to go like put on some Netflix. I started watching Suits, so I think I'm going to watch the next episode of Suits and do my jigsaw for a bit um, to kind of calm down my brain. Go ahead and bark after dark, fallen star, I'm yours. And now it's time for the interlude of the bread. Gotta get that bread. Gotta get that bread. Gotta get that bread. Cause bread is the only way we survive. Hello, you're so pretty. Yes, I got some bread. Good morning, compadres. My list of things to do today is pretty long a bit like yesterday i was doing it for like five hours yesterday on one gold today is three modules of quantitative reasoning that i just want to go over At mock b of the ucap but i'm gonna do it untimed because i think the timing is making me less accurate so i'm gonna see if that's the case or if i'm just stupid then i'm gonna do the question bank for 
decision making. But then I'm going to do 20 practice questions for quantitative reasoning. And right now I'm actually going to look at my correction of my test that I did yesterday on Medify, which girl, it did not go well. So I need to see where I went wrong. I went really wrong in decision making, which is stressing me out because I was getting like 700 every time and now i'm suddenly getting 500 and i'm like what's happened to my brain is it because i'm stressed about the time because my theory is i was doing decision making and i was taking my time on the questions and i wasn't getting them all done but i would like have two minutes at the end and then guess them the like the last few that hadn't quite finished but i'd taken my time on the other ones and i was more accurate so yesterday and like the last time i did a mock test i started focusing more on the time and like I'm just guessing ones that like I wasn't gonna get straight away and it meant that I finished them but then I wasn't getting good marks because I was guessing more so I think I'm gonna go back to what I was doing before. Boiler alert. Yes I was right in the fact that in decision making I needed to take my time and be more accurate because just guessing was not working for me. I like I'm good at decision making so guessing just it's not worth it but also I was severely overworking myself so like my brain didn't have the capacity to properly make decisions so character development ensues but just saying you do not need to do this amount of work every day like this was crazy like eight hours a day five like even more than like an hour of a day for me on the UCAT was like girl you need to start It's now the evening of Tuesday. I've had a massive breakdown. Um, <laughs> cried for like three or four hours. It's pretty late. Um, I've spoken to my mum. She's not here at the moment, uh, but I video called her and I spoke to my dad as well, who is here. Uh, and like, we were just agreed that I worked my t myself too hard yesterday and the day before and that like I shouldn't have done that and I can't like sustain that for a week before my exam you know like I'm gonna ruin it and stress myself out and I can already feel my body reacting to the stress because I'm an anxious person anyway because I'm getting like ulcers in my mouth and they really hurt <laughs> I don't know I think I'm also more anxious because like living in France I'm always in competition with French people and in my head I've convinced myself that these British people are these like freaking machines. Anyway, I'm gonna go before I cry again. I didn't film for a few days because I was extremely stressed. I took Wednesday completely off any practice and I only did one practice test on Thursday and Friday and now it's Saturday and I've got sun tomorrow and then the test is on Monday. So my life is not very stressful. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <sighs> I've had my lunch and I have done everything else uh so right now i am going on to medify to do the full mock test number five done a b and c of the official ucat website so i just want to do this and then i'll do the official one which is d tomorrow and uh yeah that's the vibe of the day so i'm gonna get my whiteboard pen my whiteboard and my whiteboard eraser out uh, and get on with it and by the time I have finished it will be 4pm so Dark fallen star, I'm your one.
the day after. Um, basically, I did my exam and then my friend came over. I finished and I got my results. So, uh, I got... I got the results I wanted, which makes me extremely, extremely happy, especially after the breakdowns I had. But there's a whole story time to this. I nearly got disqualified. It was horrible. And I hated the whole online exam experience and 10 out of 10 would now recommend. Here's the rundown of what just happened. Okay, so I did my UCAT. It was an all right exam. It was like what I expected from doing the mocks, from doing, so much work like it was what I expected but I go in and they check me out and they're like oh here's your passport I don't know. everything's fine your video camera is fine the lighting's fine everything is fine they send me into my exam I was like cool I've done everything right life is going well bear in mind the verbal reasoning section is like 22 minutes long so it's not that long like it's a quick section like I don't find I like I find the time the most difficult part about that section and I go in and like 30 seconds into my exam this guy like pops up and is like we can't see you and I'm there I start panicking because I'm an anxious person anyway and I'm like what do you mean you can't see me I was like oh my god and um, like I look and like I'm silhouetted because the sun has come from the from the window that's behind me, which like in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have been sat in front of a window, but like that's just where the computer is and you said everything was fine. So, and the time is still ticking. So I like try and move the camera a bit and change it. And they're like, okay, cool. So I try and continue. 30 seconds later, they pop up again. I'm like, oh girl, no, <laughs> go away. I'm trying to do my exam, leave me alone. And like, all, like, all this time, the time is still ticking. Like I've answered three questions in three minutes where I should have answered like 12 questions by that point. Like, hmm, I don't appreciate this. And they're like, we still can't see you. Turn on the light switch, like turn on a light or something like change it without moving away from the camera. The light switch is on the other side of the room and I'm like, how? Like what? But I keep my calm. I'm like, all right, uh, can I go to the other side of the room to like do the light switch? And they're like, it just didn't answer. And I was like, what the heck? They've gone again. And then they come back and they're like, close the curtain and then like, maybe it'll work. So I do that and they're like, okay, cool, fine. We can see you. And they leave. And then they come back again and I'm like, are you kidding me? And this is when I start getting like actually really anxious because I'm thinking I the time is going. When are they going to leave me alone? I just want to do my exam. I'm not cheating. I'm not doing anything. Just I've worked so hard for this. Go away. They're like turn on the light. So like I try and turn on like the light next to me, like the little lamp. And I do that and they leave me alone. And then they're like, oh, the light only lights up half of your face. Find another light. And I'm like, girl, I can't move away from the camera. So I asked them, oh, can I, my light switch is on the other side of the room. They're like, yeah, but take the laptop with you. I was like, number one, this is not a laptop. This is like a full on like computer. This is no easy task. This is not simple. Do you understand this? I'm like, so I like, I do it and I turn on the light and then there's like, it's still not good enough. And I was like, who is this? They were like, open the curtain again. So I stand to open the curtain and they're like, if you do that again, we'll disqualify you. And I'm like, who is like, what? And I start crying by this point because I'm thinking I've just lost all the time in this section. I'm in a panic attack. I'm like having an awful time. And they're like, do you need help? And I was like, yes. And then they were like, they just ignored me for the rest of the thing. I was like, okay. So they ignored me, they went away, and then they ignored me for the rest of the test. I was like, and I was crying for that whole section. So I didn't do as well in that section as I normally do. Bear in mind, verbal reasoning is my best section. I was like, so I was extremely upset and extremely annoyed when it came to the end of the exam. I managed to pull myself together for like decision making onwards. So for the rest of the exam onwards, I pulled myself together and was like, got to try and get those points back. So somehow I managed it and I managed to get just about the grade I wanted, but my verbal reasoning was like way lower than it has ever been before. And I was like, if that had been at my normal, 
I would have done so well because I got 2,500 and something. It was like, I don't know if that's well for everyone else, but for me, that was like, I've done my best. But not, but like, had that not happened in verbal reasoning, I would have got 2,600 and something and had like an average of 670. And I was like, you know what? I'm happy with that. Like, I'm happy, like 2,600 and something. Yes chef's kiss i couldn't get it because they stopped me i was like they could have at least paused the time like it was done by pearson view so they're not like you count themselves so they obviously don't know what the exam is they're just doing their jobs but i was like i finished my exam went up to my dad was crying being like i just failed that whole thing because that section has gone so badly and that's my like good section and i've just failed it so i failed the whole thing and then i called up my mum, and then my results came through as on i was i was on like FaceTimey WhatsApp call with my mum and I looked at them and I like cried because they were actually what I wanted and I got band one situational judgment I was like praise the lord I've done it I haven't failed oh I was like clearly it just kicked me into focus I was like mm. I did the best in quantitative reasoning I've ever done uh abstract reasoning it's always hit and miss. I did okay. I didn't do the worst I've ever done. Didn't do the best I've ever done. Decision making, best I've ever done. Verbal reasoning, probably would have been the best I've ever done. But I didn't have time because they took away about 10, 15 minutes. I had, I remember looking at the clock when they finally went away. I had seven minutes to complete the whole section. And I still managed to not get that bad a grade. But like, it should have been like nearly 200 points higher, so. Like, it was so annoying. I was like, oh my god. So, my footage is gonna be reviewed and they're gonna look at my, the, my footage and be like, see if I have a case or not to be like, put my grades up. Thank you. So yeah, I will never use Pearson View ever again. I know it's not you, Kat's fault. It's Pearson View. I left them a very bad review at the end of my exam. I was like, that is the worst thing. That is the worst exam experience I have ever had, ever. Like, uh, yeah. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye.